Man, I freaking want it. I freaking want, look at it. It's silver, that paint a little beat up. Look at it, look at it, man. Again, the more you know, bro, they just blew up their F-350 over there. Yeah, they just blew that bit, that thing up. But I want it. I'm pretty sure they get let it go for the low. 500, right? Okay, we're doing it. Hopefully, I don't get no crazy wind. But we're back with the two-door. We're back with the two-door. I've been slacking. Not really slacking, but I've been working a lot. Jeez. I hope I, hope I don't get no freaking crazy wind stuff going on. But I've been all over the place handling business with the two-door kind of give you a little bit of a, of a update no real major update other than it freaking it still drives like amazing i really have to get in alignment because I'm, I'm doing this a lot going going down the road thinking about actually ordering some stuff from my detroit on amazon to go over the kind of kind of go over the front suspension and take take care of those things also i got to get tires so because i because if, if you talked if you heard in the last video there's cliff I'm gonna go to the correct size because these tires are a little bit uh, too small. And then one thing I do wanna show you is the freaking Rock Auto taillights, RIP. I don't know what happened there, but they freaking, they freaking cracked. I don't know, the tailgate doesn't even like hit it, but these, you can see they're like, they're bowed, they stick out. So I don't even like these, these are a little deformed. Boom, I just flew, I just flipped you over. Compared to like this angle, they're not really like, those don't really stick out as much. But this place is Instagram, this place on, uh, they're in Houston, they're called RZ Custom. What do you think about that, Cliff? But there's this place in Houston, they're on Instagram, they're RZ Custom Tail Lights or Custom Lights, and they got some badass shit that I So these headlights, they do, they're okay. You can see you got the tint, they're like, I mean, you know, a little, little bit of an appearance. Would you chill? I want to put in the Morimoto 3.0 lights, the LED lights that are in here, the ones that actually have like an LED on both sides and they put a pretty straight um, lighter production, pr projection out. Since these don't really, these are just the old school, they're the old school halogen projector housings. But the RZ ones actually have a daytime running light that goes around the whole thing. And it has a black housing and they're super freaking badass. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a, a set of one of those pretty soon. That's of, of course, after I get some downtime and I just wanna do everything. I wanna do the front suspension. I wanna get the tires. I also wanna put these lights in. Uh, I wanna take care of this little flimsy part that's right there. No one, no one, no one, no one saw that. <clears throat> And I think it'll make the front end look way tougher. The wind is literally coming from every direction. It's literally like a tornado in my freaking backyard. But I think that, look at that, that's like crooked. I gotta fix that. I don't know why that one's like that. But I think that'll be like super badass. And, and since this tail light is cracked, they got, some stupid crazy ones what this is it's a it's a black housing and it's led and it's smoked and it's just i think that looks super badass so i'm probably gonna get a set of those if this wind will stop i apologize for the noise but that's a little bit of a But that's a little bit of the update that we got going on on the Tahoe right now. No plans right now for paint, even though I would like to, to do the dip your car stuff on my own and keep it two-tone. I do probably, I'm gonna put some tint on it. I'm gonna leave the exhaust alone. Still debating if I want to lower it or lift it, more than likely right now. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do, but I do know what I wanna do. 
is that I keep seeing these other two doors around here and I legitimately want a second one. So depending on how, the, uh, if the other one I get is a two-wheel drive or if it's another four-wheel drive, if the other one I get is gonna be two-wheel drive, that one's getting slammed. This one, maybe put a little bit of a lift on it with a little bit of chunky tires on it and keep it like that. But well, that's for uh, that's for right now. But yeah, we got front suspension, a little pivot arms, toe arms, ball joints, everything that we're gonna do in the front with the tires. We're gonna get an alignment on it. I'm also probably gonna adjust the rear brakes because I have no parking brake, but that's pretty simple. But yeah, those, R, those RZ custom lights are stupid badass. I really wanna get it, some of those. If not, the tail lights, I really freaking want the headlights because I don't really drive this thing at night, but uh, with those that are on there and the Morimoto uh, LEDs that I'm gonna get on there from Retrofit Source, it'll look completely killer. And it's all smoked in the front and the thing's already black and gray, so it'll match perfectly to how, uh, how it looks in here. And everything else works fine. Oh, the new, AC control unit works. These four by four buttons work. All, everything lights up. RIP to my blower motor. It took a shit on me. I'm pretty upset about that. And the horn works. I didn't even know. I thought the horn was from here. It freaking works. You gotta hit it in the center. I ended up replacing some guy's ignition key in here. And uh, I found out that you have to uh, do uh, do that. So that's a little bit of that nothing crazy nothing cool for me to show you guys right now but it's a little bit of what's going on with it you can see i got an air hose i got parts everywhere i've been super freaking stacked with uh just a whole lot of stuff going on and if you stuck around this long right there it's going bye bye i'm making decisions boys making decisions so there's a little bit about that focus on this focus on my work everything else will come along a little bit later uh, I'm almost at 500 I'm almost at 500 this is freaking dope I don't even know what to do I already passed one goal I had so now the second goal is to get to that thousand and then it'll be on from there and we can have a whole bunch more fun and I can keep doing a lot more badass stuff like this I got new wipers on the Tahoe I'm excited about that but yeah if I ended up if I end up do getting the second one the second one, if it is a two-wheel drive, slammed. And that one will probably get the 5.3. That one will probably get the 5.3 that I want to do. Uh, cam, rods and pistons, and probably a little LSA blower action. That's if this clean air act bull crap doesn't go away. Well, I mean, it's not going away because they're going after everybody. But yeah, but thanks for watching. Thank you for almost 500. I hope to pass almost 500 in the next few weeks, if not in the next two weeks. Because I haven't even put any up updates on, but I've been getting so much, like, I guess more love, I guess you can call it, on the tubes of the U. And it's freaking awesome. Because, I, like I said, I've been super busy doing a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. I haven't really had a chance to get back with you guys. It kind of sucks. I'm not making excuses, but that's what I'm going to say because I don't really like making excuses like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep it up. I'll keep the videos coming keep the build progress coming i got little neat ideas that i want to do and, and and share with this thing across that you know some people may, may not even think about and i hope you like it so thanks for sticking around you know see you guys on the next video oh!